Come on, baby. Lupi. Let's try it. So far it's tasted good. There you could see a little of the lavender flavor and there's green for the matcha tea. Oh, that was tasty. Very tasty. So that lavender, that's the cream part. It's creamy lavender. With the matcha tea, I mean the colors look so pretty together. That was the color of my daughter's bedroom when she was very little. And then um, the matcha tea tastes good. It's a little sweet. I don't mind that too much though. There's no coffee, so there's no caffeine, except for whatever matcha tea might have. I should check into that. So anyway, it was yummy. Oh, there how it looks from the bottom. I ordered it with light ice, so they didn't pack it all up with ice. Pretty colors. <laughs> She's
jealous. Look how beautiful. Tina, do you know what you're doing on Bella's bed? She's so naughty. She's so naughty. Welcome home, Peanut. <laughs> Ooh, grab that. There's a goose in the Target parking lot. Is it a goose nut or a duck? That's not a duck. Hi, cutie. Aww. So, they are known to have uh, a nest around here in that little pond. I hope everyone's careful. Presents. Ha <laughs> ha. I got you, you cuties. Oh, peanut smelling Bella. <laughs> She's like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> hey, cuties. Hi, beautiful Bella. Hi, cutie patootie peanut. All right, I'm coming up. Let's go, let's stay up. Go head down. Look at that little angel. His little Mexican chihuahua loves the sun. Okay, all right, here we go. Doggy language. <laughs> Peanut's like, how dare you? How dare you, Bella? <laughs> oh, wait a second. Oh, you're so cute. Who's a good girl? Who's a sweetheart? 
You are. Oh, so is Peanut. Aww. Hey, Peanut. She's enjoying the sun. She loves it. So we had mulch laid in the backyard. It's easy. They, they come every year knocking at your door to see if you want mulch and we just, we just did it. And they weeded too, which is fine with me. Um, we had mulch put around the maple tree back here. That is not quite in bloom yet. That tree, I don't know what kind of tree that is, but that has leaves on it already. large tree over the garage. And the irises are coming in already. And I wish I remembered what kind of flower. Once this flowers, I could identify the, the plant. But that's coming through. And the butterfly bushes have not come to back to life yet. I'm crossing my fingers. I read uh, that they will come back into flowering mid-summer. Okay, so he's a gardener. That's a butterfly bush too. And this was a peony that never bloomed, but we'll see if it comes back this year. It's heading upstairs. All right, we're not letting the chickens out because we just got the mulch. They love to dig in it and make a mess, and we're just going to let it aerate or air out a little bit because it's real stinky. Who knows what's in it? I'm sure it's fine for chickens, but we're just making sure. All right, let's check and see if there's eggs. Yeah, let's see. So one of these be the inspiration egg. There it is. So that's just a fake egg we, we leave there. And that's a real one. And these are the girls. And they're good. We might let them out this weekend. Today's Friday. Hey ladies. They're complaining. These little violets. And that's about it for the backyard report. Tina is by the back door. Bless you. A new tree is going to be planted here, it looks like. Very nice. Puppy. He's just out in the front yard. There must be an electric fence. Bella is very curious, but I'm going to keep her at bay. Good girl. Look at these good bodies. They're behaving so well. Maybe. Oh, yeah, okay. That too. Pretty. Easter tree.